Hello there, this is Kush from creativepadphotography.com. Welcome back to another tutorial where on Photoshop where we'll be learning this time how to remove sensor spots, spots on lenses or any kind of spots created by dirt on your equipment. Uh, basically, anytime you see some kind of a spot, it can be easily corrected in uh, Photoshop. So here the problem you can see clearly around the sun uh, which we're facing and somewhere here is uh, that we have some spots here and um, some of them are because of the sensor but you know this big spot here and some of the other spots are because i was shooting in a very muddy environment and uh, some of the dirt just fell on my lens and i was not careful enough to clean it but because i knew this can be corrected easily in photoshop so i did not really bother too much so i'll just show you how to do that so of course the first thing i always like to do is just to duplicate this layer so that you don't work on the original and so that we can later on compare with the original then what i want you to do is um, sometimes like for example in this case you can see this spot clearly you can see maybe this spot clearly but some there are some other spots which you, your eyes cannot really see clearly so just to make sure that you uh, absolutely first of all identify all the spots what you can do is you can just press control or there'll be command on mac and press i so control and i i for that's invert basically so once you invert this image it turns into something like you know a negative here and what you can uh, just to so you can see now we're able to see these spots much more uh, clearly so our eyes can identify them and another thing you can do is you can just open uh, one of these adjustment functions uh, so let's you can open the contrast um, brightness contrast function or you can even do this from the curves uh, thing but let's say if you just you know, increase the contrast here um, it just slightly improves the clarity of these uh, spots and all this is not going to affect uh, our original layer because uh, we'll just be later on we'll just be hiding this or you can just delete that now what I want you to do is once you are able to see the spots just select this layer the one which you inverted because that's where we'll be working on so remember in Photoshop um, you have to highlight the layer on which you're gonna have an effect on and the kind of effect that we want here is to remove these spots which will be done by our spot healing brush tool so of course um, if you haven't purchased my course Photoshop for beginners, then uh, all these basics, everything, uh, including all these tools is covered in that course. You can have a look down. The link is given in the description of this video. Um, right. So once you've selected this tool, all of course you need to do is just encircle the spot and then just click on this. You can see it's disappeared. So on here, if it's a longer uh, sensor spot, then you can just drag your uh, spot healing brush tool. So any kind of distraction you can remove. Of course, it's always best to get your sensor clean, but sometimes it's not always possible for you to do that. Maybe you've gone somewhere and you later on realized uh, that there were some problems. You can see that we have been able to pretty much remove all the spots uh, that were bothering us here. Now, what you can do is just once you're done with this, delete this contrast layer come back to your original here and just press ctrl i again to invert this again and this time if we compare it with the original by uh, hiding this you will see the difference so you can see this was the original this has a lot of spots and just after a quick uh, cleaning using the spot healing brush tool we've been able to make this picture relatively clearer now another thing you can do is if i just delete this also and you're starting from this another thing you can do is um, just duplicate the layer and then if you have the original Photoshop version, then you will have something called as camera raw filter here under the filter raw men uh, filter menu. So you go to camera raw filter because uh, this has a function which is ready made for this and it just does the job in a much faster way. So this function is called uh, the brush with these dots is called spot removal. So once I click on this, you will see this turn into, uh, you know, this box here and just click on visualize, just check visualize spots. The moment you do that, you'll easily be able to visualize all kinds of spots. So this is even much better than the invert uh, function. And then, of course, just the similar way, using your bracket keys, you can, the square bracket keys, you can decrease or de uh, increase the size of this. So just encircle this, and it's intelligent enough to automatically select it from an area uh, which is much cleaner. So it's telling you that it has selected it from uh, this area. Or in case you don't like that area, you can even change this area. So maybe if it selects a wrong area and it picks up another spot and it fixes by that, that's not what you want. So you can just drag this around, but normally it just does the job better on its own. So just need to click on it, just like with the spot healing brush tool. So you can see that we're able to see some more spots which we were not able to see uh, with the invert function. So this tool is specifically meant to remove spots. And 
you can see, I think last time we did not see this spot here on the left. So, right, once you're um, done with this, you just basically have to press. Okay, so you just press OK. And what you'll see is that all these ports have uh, just disappeared. So if I just compare this to the original, you can see that we've got again a clean image. So if you have camera raw filter, the reason I showed you the first uh, process is because some people don't have uh, maybe the original Photoshop. So sometimes you may not have the camera raw filter plugin. But if you have camera raw, it's much easier. So you know both the ways to do it. So whichever you find easier, you can use. And um, don't forget to subscribe and you know to the channel and to like this video. And of course, check out my course on Photoshop. Photoshop for beginners, a video ebook which is available on udemy.com. So I'll see you in another video and bye for now.